Let's talk about nose hair. <laughs> I know that you want to because you clicked on the video. This all started when I was out with a girlfriend and we were driving home and she knows what I do here on YouTube. I've got this little skincare gig and she asked me a couple of questions about skincare and then she asked me, what do you do about nose hair? <laughs> and I cracked up and right then I thought, we need to have a conversation about that. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 and over 60 woman. I'm so glad you stopped by. This is a topic that we all have. No one talks about it. We're gonna be talking about it today. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want all the good stuff, you might wanna sign up for my Sunday morning email newsletter. The link is in the description box down below. Comes out every Sunday morning. No surprise there. It is probably the most popular thing about my channel. We have a huge group of women now that has really created quite the community. Every Sunday morning, I send out a very short, very sweet, very free email newsletter featuring all the cool things I found throughout the week. Maybe it's a sale that you didn't know about, a great piece of information, something stinking funny that I wanted to share with you. Anything that I would tell you if we were out together having lunch like a couple of girlfriends, which we are, goes in the Sunday morning email newsletter. The link is in the description box down below. Super easy to sign up, super free, super fun. I think you're going to love it. Today we're talking about nose hair and I was thinking this morning as I was getting ready, I don't remember <laughs> thinking about nose hair when I was in my 20s or 30s or maybe even 40s. Does our nose hair get more significant as we get older? Or is it just that I'm noticing it? Let me know in the comments down below if you think we get more nose hair as we get older. Anywho. <laughs> We all have a nose, hopefully. Hopefully we all have a nose, it's kind of handy. So we all have nose hair and what do we do with it? What I'm gonna share with you today is the three things that I have tried and the number one technique that I use now that I hands down absolutely love, can't imagine I would go to anything else. The first topic that we need to discuss is sensitivity to your nose. If you have a super sensitive nose, this might be a challenge for you. My nose is not sensitive. My skin is not sensitive. I don't know, I just don't seem to get that ouchy feeling very much. What I'm gonna share are the two techniques that I used to use, and the first one is just a pair of scissors. <laughs> These are hair cutting scissors. You can get them off of Amazon and everything I talk about today, I'll have listed in the description box down below. You can take a pair of scissors and I would suggest that you get a pointy pair, not the rounded pair. And you can simply just kind of go around inside your nose carefully. You don't wanna cut your skin and trim that hair. This is something that I did for quite a while. It's very easy to do. All that you really need, I think, is a magnifying mirror so that you can actually see what you're doing. And you can just simply take these scissors and make tiny, tiny little cuts all around the nose. And I would go all around in a circle and then do the other side. And it really does cut the longer nose hairs that might be protruding or obvious in your nose. I don't know, does anybody ever really look at your nose hair? But I hope they don't and I don't want them to. So this was something that I used for a little while. I thought it was pretty handy. It's inexpensive, easy to do, takes less than a minute and boom, you're done. The second technique that I've used and honestly I have used this is tweezers. <laughs> And you're gonna think, Kimberly, that is going to be so painful. And you know what? It kind of is. <laughs> I have actually tweezed some nose hairs. Does it feel good? Uh-uh. Does it make you sneeze? Well, it didn't make me sneeze. But one trick I can say is if you do use tweezers, again, you just simply go around the area that you can see and pull the hair. Do it quick. You don't want to do it slowly. I found this to be very, very effective. Efficient. In other words, it works very well. It's just not the most comfortable thing. However, if you don't have a sensitive nose or if you're not adverse to that little bit of ouchy pull when you tweeze those hairs, this could be a super easy way to handle it because who doesn't have a pair of tweezers? We all have tweezers. 
super easy, super quick, super efficient. It does pull all the hair and you don't have to worry about it because it's gonna be a long time growing back. So if you have a pair of tweezers and you think you can handle it, I've actually done this more than once, more than twice, more than a few times. It's just not my favorite method now that I found something that I like even more. But if you feel like this could work for you, this could be a really, really good solution. It's inexpensive, you already have the tweezers, it'll take you less than two minutes and boom, you'll be done. Now I wanna talk about the third method, which is actually what I use all the time now, and I absolutely love it. It is quick, it's fairly affordable, like pretty doggone affordable, and it's really, really effective. <laughs> it's gonna be surprising, but the answer is waxing. Have you ever thought about waxing your nose hair? <laughs> and right now you might be wondering, what kind of horrific torture, Kimberly, are you suggesting that we engage in? <laughs> and I know it sounds like it might be incredibly uncomfortable, but I can tell you what, waxing is super efficient, it's super effective, it lasts a long time, and it really doesn't hurt. This is just a little waxer that I got off of Amazon. It was up around $20 and it came with a whole bunch of wax. So I'm set probably for a few years now with all the wax I need and the equipment I need in order to wax my nose hair. The cool thing about this waxer is now when I have it out and I'm going to wax my nose hair and I'll show you how I do that in just a minute, I can also then just do my lip or do around my eyebrows or anything else that I want to do really quickly. I've got my waxer out, I've got a ton of wax, it's gonna last me forever and it's super easy to do my my nose and anything else that I want to address at that time. Now, how exactly do I use this waxer to wax my nose hairs? <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying this on the internet. What I have done is I ordered some swabs. Now you can use, and I've got a little container right here, you can use a Q-tip. The concern that I had with a Q-tip is that it's not really that big. The size of my nostril is bigger than the Q-tip and I thought, well, I'm gonna be missing a lot of the hairs. If you have a small nose and tiny nostrils, this might be all you need. However, if you're like me, and I don't know that I have a big nose, I think I kind of have a standard size nose, with standard size openings, I decided to go ahead and get these swabs because I wanted to make sure that I contacted all the hair inside my nose nice and snug so that I wouldn't miss anything. So all you do is you take one of these swabs and you dip it into the wax. Now, one of the things I wanna suggest, because I'm a little bit of an expert on this now, <laughs> a little bit. Don't swirl it around there a whole lot. Just dip it in and dip it out. You don't need a lot of product on the swab because it's not a lot of hair that you're going to be addressing. The more wax you put on this, just the bigger and harder it is to pull it out ultimately. So I would just suggest that you just quickly dip it in and pull it out. What I do is once I have the wax on it, and let me go ahead and just get some wax on it really quickly right now. What I will do, and you see I just dipped it in there really quick, is I'll kind of swirl it around, blow on it a little bit. I don't want it to get hard, but I don't want it to be hot either. And once I get it to kind of just sort of a tacky area, and I can touch it to the inside of my arm to test the temperature. Once I feel like it's right where I want it to be, then I just stick it up my nose <laughs> and let it sit there for a little while. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but you're gonna be doing it by yourself. No one's gonna be watching you. <laughs> it's actually really, really easy to do. Let me go ahead and put this down. I, I need a tissue, hang on, just a minute. So once the wax is at a temperature that feels comfortable for you you just place it in your nose now don't stick it all the way down to I don't know whatever is inside your nose I just kind of do it in this area right here and I'll go ahead and place the swab inside my nose and then you have to wait the reason you want to wait is because I do this all the time I want to pull it out quicker than I should. Let it dry down. And that's a lesson that I keep trying to teach myself because I'm like always in a hurry and I want things to go quickly and I want to get it over with and blah, 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 blah. Let it dry down. In addition, this particular unit came with the appropriate type of wax. 
and that wax is hard wax. There are other types of waxes out there that are meant to be used with a strip and they don't ever really dry down. I tried one of those waxes with this technique and it was a miserable, horrible, experience, you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure you get hard wax. So now you have this Q-tip or this swab inside your nose, let it dry down. And there's going to be an area that you'll be able to kind of tap it with your finger. What you want it to feel like is hard plastic. You want it to really dry down. It stays a little bit tacky for a bit. You want it to dry down so it feels like hard plastic. And once it's like hard plastic, you just go boop and you pull it out. <laughs> and you might be thinking, oh my gosh, Kimberly, that sounds so incredibly painful. And you know what? It's not. It's not painful. It just feels like pressure. It's almost as if, let's say that someone pulled one of your hairs. That is going to feel more significant than if someone grabs a bunch of your hair and just tugs on it a little bit. This feels like the second case where someone's just tugging on a lot of your hair. So you just pull it out and you know what? All the nose hair is gone and it's on that little bit of wax that's on this Schwab. I have used this, it is hands down my favorite method because it's super quick, it was very affordable. This was like about, oh gosh, 20, 20 something dollars with the wax on Amazon. This will doggone last me for a few years because I just don't use it very often because once you pull that swab, it really just pulls that hair out by the root and it takes forever to grow back. So it's a very effective way to get a really thorough elimination of any of those hairs that might be showing up. So based on my experience, <laughs> and I've had a little bit now that I'm in my 60s. I just don't remember this when we were younger. I don't think we had it like this when we were younger. Anywho, my experience is that waxing is hands down my favorite way to deal with those unruly nose hairs that you absolutely don't want to be showing up during a luncheon or at a dinner party or anything like that. I will go ahead and have everything that I've talked about today listed in the description box down below. If you do decide to wax your nose hairs, and maybe you do it already, maybe I'm late to the party and people have been doing this for a long time, but if you do decide to do it, put it in the comments down below after you do it for the first time and give me your experience. For me, it is really my favorite way because it's so efficient and it's so long lasting. It's something I don't have to deal with, but gosh, every couple of months. So for me, having that quick of a solution that is that efficient and that effective and long lasting, it's a done deal for me. Well, I hope you guys found this fun, useful, and helpful. Who else is talking about nose hair? I mean, you gotta come here for all the good stuff. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, lifestyle, and nose hairs for the over 50 and over 60 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.